grab, grab the instruction guide for this video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to go ahead and edit a style. If you don't remember, styles are what allow you to have items that are, I guess, essentially the same item with different variations. Uh, let's take, for example, pants. You have one kind of pants, uh, but you might have uh, 2830s and 2832s and 3030s and 3234 and all these different sizes. Then might you, you might even have red, green, and blue. Uh, same with shoes, you know, size 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you got uh, red and yellow and purple shoe of the same type. Um, so those would be example of variations where you can track individually the different uh, shoes and what you need to order in. So here, for example, we have this leather shoe and we have red, blue, and green. Then we have size 8, size 9, size 10, and these were all set up on a style grid. I'm going to pop into this style grid right here. Here you can see the sizes are 8, 9, and 10, and then the attributes are red, blue, and green. And It looks like we have 50 in stock of every single type in between. And so today we are going to jump in and edit a style because maybe we're thinking of um, carrying, uh, expanding our collection of what we carry. Before we do that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there and you can ask any question you like. Hundreds and hundreds of other QuickBooks Point of Sale users will share their knowledge with you and I will be there, of course guiding you along the way. If you're on YouTube today, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. So let's do it. Let's take this leather shoe, for example. I'm just going to hit the edit button on a leather shoe, red, size 8. It's going to pop up my style grid right here. And then I, I think I'm going to start carrying the large sizes like let's say 12 and uh, 14 and one more color I'm gonna uh, actually get a purple leather shoe you know or maybe blue suede no I already have blue there we go so we pop that in there now you'll notice we have these white blanks that are just totally empty and if we want point of sale if you remember back to when we first created variations if we want point of sale to actually create the item itself we are going to want to fill in these blanks with zeros we have not received them in yet but we want to tell point of sale that there are zero in stock but this is an actual item so you should actually create it if there are not zeros in every uh, every blank square here it's not actually going to create the item so go ahead and do that and then we're gonna hit save and uh, one issue you're gonna see here is one number item number 124 through 132 are all the leather shoe and now that we created and added extra variations now you're gonna see it created uh, the purples and the larger sizes down here at the bottom so 164 through 174 that shouldn't be an issue just so you're aware that it's going to show up whatever is the next number allotment and now we are free to if we would like to you know receive them into inventory i can come here and type in leather shoe and now we have the purple 12 available the purple 9 and you can go ahead and receive those into stock so that's about it. That's how you edit a current variation in QuickBooks Point of Sale. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful, go ahead and smash.